What's up guys, today we are in lesson 10 of this affiliate marketing course. We're gonna start talking about how to take this affiliate marketing side hustle and make it into a business. I'm gonna show you and strategize with you how to develop a traffic funnel and to get your business started. I hope you're ready, I know I am. Let's do it. All right guys, well I am so proud of you for making it to this 10th lesson in this free affiliate marketing course. Just in case this is your first video or you just stumbled across this one, let me give you a little bit of a recap about what we've talked about so far. The first lesson, we kind of gave a, a definition of affiliate marketing for beginners. If you hadn't heard of it before, just the basic layout of what affiliate marketing is. Then we started to talk about what a niche is and how to select not only your niche, but even a sub niche so you can more specifically target an audience. Then we got into looking at affiliate marketing networks and all the opportunities there are for you to pick a program. We looked at specifically at ShareSale, ClickBank, and JVZoo. We kind of did reviews on those three networks so you could pick the one that works best for you. Then we began to look and find out how you can find programs outside of networks. And I even offered you guys some tips about the best networks and the best programs just for you. If you missed any of those videos and want to go back and catch up, I've got the full playlist completely free just for you up in the top right hand corner of this video. Go back, check them out, and then get caught up. And last thing, for those of you who are new, my name is Jake. The purpose of this channel is to help Christians achieve financial freedom so they can more effectively fulfill the mission to which God has called them. Well, guys, I'm really excited about today's video. We're going to begin to talk about how to take this from a side hustle, how to take this from something that you're just doing once in a while, or just earning a little bit of commission on to actually developing it into a full fledged business. I'm going to show you some of my traffic funnel and hopefully just give you the broad overview of what you're getting into. And you can start thinking and strategizing about how to promote the programs that you have selected. So all that being said, we're gonna hop into my computer. I'm gonna show you a picture that I took of my traffic funnel not long ago and just step-by-step step walk through some of it. I also wanna show you some bad strategies that people use for doing affiliate marketing and how to correct that and how to do it well, how to really get your business started so that this can be a long-term strategy to develop good, sustainable, passive income. All right, guys, well, here in just a second, we are gonna look at what you should not be doing in affiliate marketing. Maybe you started this way. Uh, maybe this is even why you're here because you haven't found a lot of success because this is the strategy that you've been using. So we're going to find out what you shouldn't be doing, how to correct it, and how to turn it from a side hustle into an actual business. Before I go any farther though, uh, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's been really cool recently, seen a lot of growth here. I think it's been almost 100 over the past two weeks or so. Uh, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. On this video, please do me a favor, hit the like and the bell notification so you know when new videos are coming out. Uh, obviously, we're continuing through this course. In the future, I'll be making courses on how to get out of debt, on real estate, on stocks. You're not going to want to miss all that's coming up in the future. So please make sure to hit the bell notification, subscribe, and to like this video. Uh, also, I can make better content for you guys, and I really appreciate you doing that. So... Let's get into it. What should you not be doing when it comes to affiliate marketing? Uh, I was trying to think of a good example uh, from my videos, and I couldn't think of which video this comment would be on, so I'm going to show you on Facebook. What a lot of people do is just spam links. So they'll watch, they won't watch, they'll pull up one of my YouTube videos, and they'll throw a link in the description, and then they'll just leave, and they expect someone to click it. Let me ask you the question, when was the last time you saw a random link that you didn't know, that you didn't understand, that you didn't know the person, and you clicked on it? Very few responsible people are going to click on those links because that's how you get viruses. That's how people uh, hack into your computer. People do not trust links that they don't know, that they don't understand, when they don't trust the source. So this is what a lot of people do, uh, and the only benefit of it, the only thing that I don't blame people for doing it. I understand understand that maybe that's all they've been taught up to this point. The one benefit is maybe it just gives you the itch. Maybe someone clicks your link, maybe someone buys, and it shows you that it's actually possible, but it's not sustainable. It's a side hustle. It might make you a few bucks, but it will no, never develop true passive income, and it will never become a real online business that way. So let me show you a quick example of what I'm talking about. Uh, I just quickly in the search bar went to affiliate marketing. These are all affiliate marketing groups on Facebook. We'll click the first one. And within just two or three posts, we will probably see 30 to 50 links. Um, here we go. New member. This person recently posted. 31 comments. Let's see if we see any links. 
Didn't take long. There's an affiliate link. Uh, let's see if this is an affiliate link. That one's actually not. That's a page link. That's an affiliate 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 link. Who's clicking on this? Like, why would anyone trust a random person? Now, this might be the only place where it works um, because it is affiliate marketing and maybe someone's willing to click here. Uh, but then again, you got a lot of competition here. I, this is not a long-term strategy that is ever going to be beneficial for you and help you to develop passive income. But this is what a lot of people do. They go to the YouTube se uh, comment section. They drop their link. They go to Facebook groups and they drop their link. Um, they go to Craigslist and just send random spam emails to people that typically end up in a spam folder anyways. So what we want to do is get away from just spamming links uh, that no one really wants. And we're going to get into actually how to create a business. So let's hop into it. I'm going to show you guys my back end traffic funnel and kind of what that process looks like for me right now. So we're going to start with kind of a blank version. And what you're going to see right here is you're going to see two funnels. This top one I like to call the traffic funnel, uh, and I have all of it filled out in the pictures to come. But this one up here is the traffic funnel, and that traffic funnel filters down into my sales funnel. And what we're going to see is every product that you're promoting hopefully isn't a singular product, but it's a funnel. So we are taking people from our traffic funnel and sending them into different sales funnels. Uh, and, and we'll be able to exp explain that more as we go. I want to specifically point out this stuff here on the left. I'm going to have a lot of pictures I'm going in and out of, so I hope you'll, you'll forgive me for that. These three phrases to me uh, are just how I view this business. I, I think there are three stages that I am constantly thinking about in everything I do. The first stage is attract. What is going to be the first impression that I have on a potential client, on a potential YouTube subscriber or follower on Instagram? What is the first thing they're going to see? Maybe that's a comment that I've made on someone's picture, on somebody's video. Maybe that is a, a random TikTok video. What is the first thing that they are going to see of me? Like we need to constantly be thinking, how are we going to get ourselves out there so that people can view our content? Because if they never see us, we're not going to be able to sell to them. So we've got to find ways to put ourselves out there in different places and get as many eyes on our content as possible. How can we get someone to see us and to see us and, and, and like what they see enough to actually make that first click. So how are we going to attract our potential client or potential customer? The second one is engage. So once that person has seen it, once they have made that very first click, what are they going to see once they click? What are they going to see when they go to my TikTok profile? What are they going to see when they go to my Instagram profile? What are they going to see when they go to my YouTube channel? Is it going to be enough for them to take action? When they get there, are they going to like what they see, that they actually engage with it, they, that they actually connect, that they actually push the subscribe button, that they actually push the follow button or the friend me button, or there are so many different social medias, I can't keep them all straight, but what's going to cause them to actually engage with my content? And the final one, and this is where we are trying to get them from, from engagement to retention, to actually retaining these people, how can I get them to come back? after they've liked, after they've followed, after they've friended, how do I get them to come back to my content and engage with it? How do I get them to push the like button every time I push a new piece of content out? How do I get them to watch my new videos? How do I get them to not only watch the video, but then engage with it? So these are three words that you should constantly be thinking about when driving traffic. Attraction, that first impression, how are you going to get yourself out in front of people? Engagement, what are they going to see? How are you going to help them engage once they've seen your stuff? And then how are you going to retain them? Because that last piece, that word retain, is the community that you are trying to build that you'll be able to sell to. And beyond that, it's just it's the people that you fall in love with and get to work with and get to, uh, get to pour into. So these are just three words that uh, have helped me in my business and helped me as I think about traffic. And hopefully they will be beneficial for you as well. That being said, let us jump into the actual traffic funnel. Now, I've had to reshoot this part about three times because this little K, or the lack thereof, bothers me so much. You'll see it on the rest of the videos, but I accidentally erased the K in this video. We're just going to get that out of the way so we can move on. What you're going to see up here at the top is all of the different ways that I'm currently driving traffic. Uh, yep, it looks like all of them. There might be one or two other ones. I use Quora some. Uh, there are a few other ones I use a little bit, but these are ones that I'm engaging with at least every other day. And here in the very near future, I'm actually going to do videos on every single one of these and how you can use them to drive traffic. But this is all of my first impressions. 
Um, I, I'm currently, I don't think right now there's a better one. There's not, period. For free organic traffic, there is not a better tool to be driving traffic than TikTok. Uh, even those who aren't doing it well, even those who aren't finding success with it, are still getting hundreds upon hundreds of views that they wouldn't be getting otherwise. Really cool to utilize uh, if you're not already. LinkedIn is probably my weakest. Uh, it's the, it's said to be the second best place to drive organic traffic right now, um, but it's one that I'm still very much working on and I'm not very strong with at this point. Uh, I will be in the very near future because I'm continuing to work on it. Facebook, uh, Facebook pages, Facebook groups, there are so many ways here that you can be interacting with people and driving traffic. Twitter, to me, is... Um, it, it's not incredibly strong, but the reason I utilize it is because I can multi-purpose content or reuse content across other platforms that I use from Twitter. And I've been surprised that I've actually gotten a little bit of organic growth from Twitter. Um, Instagram, this one I've actually been very surprised. I thought a lot of organic reach on Instagram was dead, but I've been driving traffic from Instagram. I think I had about 50 um, people click on my YouTube page from my Instagram account in the past two or three weeks, which is really exciting. Pinterest of these is probably the one that I have on default the most now. I've set up a system and it's just doing its own thing. And then YouTube suggested, we'll talk about this later down the road, but specifically talking about SEO. Um, this is when you create a YouTube video, you put it out there, and search engine optimization suggests your video to people. So these ways right here are the ways that I'm currently driving traffic, and I'll show you how I'm using every single one of them. But start to think, how are people going to first see you? What are the first ways that they're going to interact with your content so you can begin to get them through this process and down this funnel? The next part of our funnel is going to be, we're going to go from these first impression places, we're going to go from all of our social media places, and we're going to pour them into one of two places. Uh, you can use a YouTube channel, which is, if we're just going to be honest, like a lot of people want to sugarcoat this, I'm not, I'm just going to be very real with you. If you want to be as successful as possible when it comes to affiliate marketing, you're just going to need to get in front of a camera. It's uncomfortable, but it's actually very easy once you get practice. It becomes much more natural. It's like talking to someone, except there's a camera in your face. It's going to be uncomfortable, but it gets a lot much, much, much better. So one of your options is a YouTube channel. But if you're a writer, if that's really where your skill is, you can also create a blog. Uh, and like I said, we're going to go one by one through all of these in the videos to come through this course. Uh, and I'll show you how to get more confident with a YouTube channel, the type of materials um, and equipment that you'll need to do that, and, and how you can do it very, very cheaply. And we'll also talk about how you can set up a blog. Now, for me currently, uh, I spent a little bit of time using a blog um, there just came a point where I'm doing so much stuff that I had to decide one or the other. At some point, I'll probably hire someone to take my YouTube content and, and turn it into blog format as well. Um, but one of these has to happen. To really be effective, one of these has to happen. Um, one of them is, is absolutely okay. So that's the next phase of our traffic funnel. So we're going to take them from our social media account. We are going to send them to our blog or to our YouTube channel. And if you follow me on any of my social media accounts, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see me on TikTok constantly pointing to my YouTube channel. You'll see me on LinkedIn posting YouTube videos pointing back. You'll see my Facebook constantly pointing to my YouTube. Twitter constantly. Instagram constantly. Pinterest somewhat not as good as I'd like. And obviously YouTube suggested points to my channel. Uh, but you'll see that. Everything I do is pointing to this place because I want you to touch my YouTube channel and that's where I'm going to point you to the rest of the funnel. The next thing you're going to see down here is I'm pointing from this YouTube channel to my website. You'll see it in all of my descriptions. Uh, you'll see me mention it in a lot of my videos. Unfortunately, I, I neglect it sometimes and don't do it in all of my videos, but it's always in the description. Um, now, this word website is a little misleading. In fact, our next video is going to be looking at the website or probably more accurately a funnel. Um, and there are a couple ways to go on this. Some people, if you're going to have a blog, you want it to be a full-on website. If you're not going to use a blog, there are a lot of people who use a very, very different strategy. And I don't want to get into it in this video because we'll do it on the next video. But we're going to point from our blog or our YouTube channel down to our website. Now, do not miss the next part. The next part is really the crux of everything we're doing in this business. This next piece will actually determine whether you succeed or fail when it comes to affiliate marketing. And as this word right here, or these two words right here, email list. 
This is absolutely in every way the goal in affiliate marketing. So everything else I've said here, this is my progression. This is how it looks in my business. But it doesn't really matter where you're sending people as long as they end here. You can send them straight from LinkedIn to your email list. You can send them straight from Facebook to your email list. You can send them straight from Pinterest to your email list. As long as they end here, as long as you are finding ways to convert them from one of these up here into your email list, you will succeed. And this is ultimately, no matter how good you're doing on any of these platforms, whether it's YouTube, whether it's your blog, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Facebook, whatever, no matter how well you're doing on any of those platforms, it's all about the email list. If you lose Facebook tomorrow, do you lose your entire audience or do you have your audience in an email list? If your YouTube channel gets shut down, which they can easily do and they've done it to many people, do you lose your whole audience or is your whole audience in an email list? The goal always is to get them into an email list and we'll go over that in the future. What you do with an email list, how all of it works out, but the email list is absolutely the goal. I do want to show you this. This is why, this is part of the reason why the email list is such a big deal. First of all, you own it. It's yours. All those emails are for you to send out to people. But what we're going to do from our email list is send people to the funnel that is best for them. Uh, maybe someone connects with you and they're looking to start their online business. So you're going to send them uh, email after email after email telling them about this opportunity to get trained for online business. Maybe uh, they connected with you and they want to get in a different funnel anything. Maybe they want certain gear for their YouTube channel. How about that? We can send them different emails uh, about different types of gear they can use for different situations. Uh, we are going to use this email list to send people to where they need to be. And as new offers come up, as exciting opportunities come up, we can send those emails out to our email list so they can hear about those opportunities. Remember this, drill this into your head that if you are going to be successful in affiliate marketing, you have got to develop your email list. And maybe you hear all that and ask Jake, why is this email list really, really that important? You know, statistically that a person needs to see an offer at least seven times on average, at least seven times before they actually make a purchase, which is why we'll use an email list to do drip campaigns and continually show them these offers, not to irritate them, not to bug them, but to show them and remind them the offers that are available. All that being said, in the videos coming up, we're actually going to start right here at the website and we're going to work back up. I'll probably spend the next two videos talking about the website. And then we'll come up and we'll talk about how to create a blog or a YouTube channel. And then we'll specifically look at each of these social media platforms that I'm using and how I'm using them to drive traffic. After we've gone through all of this with the traffic funnel, we'll come down to the email list, talk about how to best utilize your email list and pour people into these different sales funnels. So that's the game plan. Hope you guys are excited and I know I am. Uh, this is just a fun course for me to create. Hopefully you're getting a lot of value out of it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe, and the bell notification. All so you guys can know what is going on on this channel. Thank you so much for being a part of the community, and I'll see you on the next video.